Hello everybody, welcome to the FTOG server, Avant 3, Toddy the Body here, and today we are going to talk about change. Change. Who likes change? Change can be good, change can be bad. Sometimes we get changes to mods. Now, let me go ahead and get out of the drum section here. Let me show you some change. Let's just go ahead and type remote. Uh, a couple episodes ago, we set up this remote storage with the uh, Ender IO mod where we got to use the uh, the remote thing here. We use the best one so that we can access our stuff anywhere, right? And then the next one you can access anywhere as long as you're in the same dimension. And the easiest one, you can access stuff as long as you're within five chunks of your storage, all right? So we just went right on up to the last one. We set up a little nutrient station builder maker so that we can refuel our remote because you know that it takes that so the change that i'm talking about is that this one still takes the nutrient distillation okay this one now takes do avoid and this one now takes vapor of levity now let's go ahead and see if we can find the crafting recipes for those i think we do it with this yep here we go vapor of levity all right, so you need, let's go with this one first, grains of, yep, this one here, the, the grains of that nice word behind of, and how do you make that? You just make it by sag milling the pulsating crystal, which is some pulsating iron around the diamond. That's not too bad for late game. Let's see what else we got. Okay, and then you need the grains of that one, pre-science. That's how I would like to read it, pre-science. <laughs> it's probably something else. Okay, uh, how do we make that? You make that one by sag milling this crystal here, uh, and you make that with a shulker vial and a vibrant crystal inside the soul binder. And then it takes eight experience and then some RF or whatever. All right, so the vib vibrant crystal takes the vibrant alloy nuggets with the emerald. Late game, we can do that. It's the shulker thing. Okay, so. What, do we just have to vial up a bunch of shulkers every time we want to refill our remote thing? It just seems like a hassle, right? All right, so what else do we need? We also need do avoid, so it's tiered. We have to go down. So how do we make the do avoid? Is it going to let us... No? How about we just right-click this button here? Okay, so do avoid inside the vat. Uh, you need the nutrient distillation. That's We're already making that. Sorry to stay inside these little windows here for the first part of the video. But you need this grain, so the same thing, the pulsating crystal, sag milled, or ground, however you want to say it. And then you need the grains of the end. All right, grains of the end comes from the ender crystal. Ender crystal is used for some high-end recipes. Uh, you make that with another vibrant crystal and an enderman vial. So we are going to have to be able to get our hands on endermen and have to be able to get our hands on shulkers. Okay, well, I've got a solution for that. You might have looked at that at home. And saying, you know what, I'm not even going to do it. But this episode is all about making that process easier for you. So, change. I didn't like the change. I even had a little bit of a fuss on uh, chat in front, of every in front of everybody. You know, really showed my rear end a little bit. But uh, we figured it out. So, I set up something. And then I tore it down. And we're going to set it up together so that we can all see it. Okay? I think that would be nice. Let's see, something I wanted to try just as I was getting ready for this. Stairs. One, two, three, four. I might need some of those. Actually, let's do it the other way around. And uh, I'll show you. We'll get to this. Let's get one, two, three of these. Okay. And that's how we're going to do this. Let's get that. Put this down the way we like it so it looks like... It's flat on top, but if I were to put a chest here, I should still be able to open it. Okay, so here we are. We're ready. I've got my project chest here. This is going to be something else. And uh, let's get started. So let's try to... Oh, geez. It's a project now. Let's, let's see what we can do here. So first off, let's try to set up what we had before with the nutrient distillation. All right, awesome. You can still open that up. And, um... I don't want to give away too much, but uh, if I could just find... up oh, here it is. Find this and put it right back there. That's the infinite water source that we used for um, our uh, nutrient vat. 
and then right there so we're gonna have the nutrient vat spitting and I just need one Ooh, that's already configured configured they're all configured all right so let's just pick one and then reconfigure it if we have to oh good so that means one of these has water in it all right so let's see in out that looks good for now so we want to when we make the nutrient stuff we want it to come out on this side and uh, go into our chest now I'm gonna try to breeze right past some of this that we have already seen in the other episode so we'll just configure this out right here extract insert or no we want it in out and then uh, we're gonna have another nutrient machine here Let's find out which one had the water in it because I got these mixed up now. There it is. Okay, so there and then dump that. And it looks like we had the in on the top, not that side. So I think what you can do is you can just right click this over here and then that right there. And then that should look similar to that. Okay. All right, I think we're about good to go. Let's just take these off so we can start fresh. That, uh huh. There we go. Okay, so we saw from the recipe that you need nutrient distillation to go into another vat to start making that do of the void. So here's what we're going to get with this. Let's do insert. Is that going to automatically go in there? It does. Okay. And then over on this side, we want this to exit because we need the do of the void to make the vapor of the levity. Le levity yep over here and this side let's go ahead and configure the input you probably don't have to but I will anyways oh it looks like we're missing a spot oh I know what it is okay I had a buffer in here instead of going straight from here to here we're gonna use a drum and I guess we'll just use this drum right here that uh can you see it in this tooltip I don't see it but We'll just set them out, and then I'll point to them as we go. All right, so it looks like this one is the nutrient stuff, this one is the void, and this one is the levity. See if I already made some because, like I said, I already uh, got stuff set up, and I just want to make sure it was correct before we went ahead. Okay, so when we do have the uh, dew or vapor of the levity, levity we want it to go inside one of these ender tanks here so that we can get it up in our base because i don't want to come down here every time i want to uh refill my remote so let's do this let's make this as insert and this as extract there we go and then now everything that goes inside there or should go inside there do i have one more of these yep and then i'll just set this up for uh for in a bit when we start seeing this stuff fill up uh, something I noticed is that with these uh, ender tanks you can only pull in and put pull in um, put in and pull out from the top and the bottom I haven't had very much success with taking out of the side there so what how did blood get in this thing oh my gosh you know what it is it's because somebody's using these colors blood does this one have blood no someone is using these colors for the public to have blood inside the system and it is messing with my setup all right so uh, how am I going to take the blood out now um, let me get a couple tanks let me let me empty this thing and I'll be right back okay and we're back and now we have a tank with a bunch of blood in it uh, let's, so let's go ahead and grab that and where did it go alrighty well I guess we weren't meant to have that ah here it is take that and maybe we'll there we'll come back for it at some other time when we need blood so now we have this so when it's time to refill my remote thing Oh, another thing I want to show you, too. I uh, used to be able to hold eight buckets in this thing. Now you can only hold... 
here I think it's this one here uh, one and a half buckets so really I haven't had to refill this yet because when we had our update I had eight buckets of the vapor in there but I imagine that once it gets below uh, 1500 millibuckets then I won't be able to fill it past that again so eventually I'll need to refill it but we're getting ready for that time so when I do I'll just come over here and right click or use that for my uh, bucket needs Okay, so now we've got that. Now let's go ahead and... Well, I didn't really want to... Well, let's go ahead and do it, just because it's our buffer. Uh, I'll show you the whole process here. We'll put that inside, and that should start filling up our vapor vat. <laughs> I like the name. Vapor vat. Do vat. Nutrition vat. Okay. So now we need to start setting up some of our piping here. Let's do... I don't like how it's dug out, but we'll eventually fill it back in with some conduits and things. Okay, so let's see here. With our item conduits, we need to bring an item conduit around this way. Just like this. You let go. There we go. And then right here. And then we're going to pull um, the... Uh, Nether wart and the zombie flesh out of there, but before, I wish it would tell you what it's configured to. So now I have to actually, like, um, put each one in the machine so I can figure out what is what inside these things. Okay, so I want this. Is it a whitelist? Okay, so that works. There we go. So that should send everything into this machine here. And then now we need to send those different types of dust to these other machines. So we're just going to drag this right on across. And now I need to figure out these. All right. So that goes to a later one. Uh, we have a blacklist here in grades of the end. So that's not what we want. Let's go ahead and put in the right one, then I'll talk about a blacklist. So we don't want that rotten flesh and the wart to go into these other two, so I'm blacklisting them out, and I'm also blacklisting the last ingredient for that one over there. So this one should get the uh, pulsating crystal dust and uh, and the other dust, oh, the void duster. I forgot, forget what all these names are. So we'll throw this one in here, and it's... It's similar to the one over there. I'm just voiding out the dust that goes inside that one, and that one I'm voiding out the dust that comes inside here. Okay, so then the glass bottle one is this. And let's go ahead and throw that right there. And because this was used to be right there, so I actually used one more piece of conduit. So I need to get one more out here to make up for that. I wanted it to be closer to that hole so I can see uh, the chest, so I can open it up and put stuff inside. All right, there we go. And I'm actually going to have to change this stuff around again because we want insert. Uh, this one here, we only want to insert. So we got to go like this. Insert. There we go. And then same thing here. Insert. There we go. And did I do that here also? I sure did. And I don't think that you can actually... Yeah, see, it takes it with it. All right. And there we go. So that much should be set up. Uh, now we need to get our binder so we can get our crystals and things. Uh, because you have to bind them with the, with the shulker and the enderman flask. So there we go. And uh, this should only be able to take those crystals and the flask. So I don't have to set a... Um, I don't have to set... Let's do insert. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I don't have to set a filter because this is the only machine that takes the items that this machine takes, if that makes sense. All right, and then now we need a grinder so that we can grind up those crystals into these powders. Sag mill grinder. All right. And uh, I think that the crystals will be the only things that can be ground. Uh, and, and the dark steel balls will go inside there too. I've decided to use the dark steel balls because... You know, the shulker flasks and everything, all those crystals, they're a little bit expensive. So if I can get the most out of uh, the sag mill, you know, because it'll give you extra stuff. Uh, so that's why I'm using the dark balls, because they they uh, they give you more stuff than using the flint. But anyways, let's set this to an in-out. Yep, 
and that. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, I want to set this to a round robin. There we go. And we also want this on an in out, so let's do that. Oh, passed it. And it's still set. Good. Okay, so now you see we have these last two spots. My answer to not having to go and get stuff out of uh, out of the uh, go and get the shulker flat vials and the Enderman files all the time is that I want to use spawners. Now I know you don't want me to have my spawners going all over the place, having stuff spawning all over the place. So let's go ahead and look inside here. And there's two settings here. You got the spawn. This is what most stop that don't. I didn't actually spawn anything, right? Good. But if you have it on capture, and I assume that one's on capture also, yeah. Um, then if you put a, a flask or a vial in here, it will fill it. Now, I've never used that feature before. I did not know it even existed. So let's go ahead and see which one this is. Can I shift right click? Does it tell me Enderman? So this one's a shulker. I don't think it really matters what side you put them on, but we're going to go ahead and do it like that. And then we will make this an insert and output in out. There we go. And then same with the last one. There we go. All right. And there we go. So that should be our setup for the most part. We just need to get some power, some power going. And I'll probably need one more conduit because I move stuff. I don't think so. Okay, let's just go ahead and set this up. So we've got power here, power there, in the corner, these spots all the way over so we can power our uh, vats. And uh, I would like to try it out now. Um, let's go ahead and grab our ingredients. There we go. We'll leave, we'll grab the flask, but we won't use them right away. And then we'll get all of these and just throw everything in there at once so what should happen is that this should start making the nutrition stuff and uh is it going to fill this no it's already full uh it's going to start filling the ender tank and itself so let's throw those in let's throw the dark balls in so it can get pulled into the um sag mill i want to say grinder if we're grinding stuff just call it a grinder well i guess everything else is called a grinder all right and then that is getting pulled into here and once we get yep there we go and then starts making the nutrition all right so now we want to throw uh the the two grains that each machine uses in and because it's on round robin it should split it up evenly um sometimes it doesn't do it evenly like if i just throw in the crystals here it'll get pulled out and then crushed and then put back in but because they don't get put back in uh you know in mass amounts then uh, it doesn't round robin evenly but because we just threw these in all at the same time we should have about equal amounts 54 56 so almost okay and then now i think we are ready to actually start making the vapor and the dew and we've got a little bit of dew in there too so let's do the dew let's throw in oh i don't actually have any of the stuff for this so let's go ahead and make one what was it again oh that's what we have the spawners and everything for so cool we'll get to do that together all right so let's throw this in it's going to get put into this last one here and then it's going to start making the vapor and filling up this tank again and filling up this tank and then this i'll probably just keep around or maybe put it at spawn or something it's got 54 buckets so that's a lot i think i'll just donate this buck this uh drum to spawn and then people who want to use the remote can actually like fill it up without having to do infrastructure and you know get started and then they can make their own if they want to <clears throat> so anyways this is going to start doing its thing now what we want to do is we want to make those two types of crystals that uh you need the enderman and the shulker vials for okay so what you're gonna see is that these vials get put into this machine when we are all done with it and the reason for that is because what i was talking about with that uh this dust here it doesn't get evenly distributed because when these are uh being made it's one at a time so what happens is that they get distributed into only one of the spawners and then you get all of one type of vial not 
equal amounts of Enderman and Shulker vials. So what I'm going to do is that when they're done, it just comes here, and then I'll grab them all out at one time so that it gets distributed evenly. So we'll take a look at that. See, it's taking the stuff out. And now both of them are working four and four. Seems like it should be more, right? Or can you only... Huh. Well, anyways, what happens is that these are going to stack up inside here. Uh, one stack is going to have one more than the other. And the reason for that is because it's going to be in here. All right. And they both take vibrant crystals. So if I have 16 vla flasks then I need 16 of the Vibrant Crystals. And I went ahead and I set up a recipe so that we can do that. But if you shift left click on it, then it fills it up more. Come on. <laughs> Just go like this. There we go. Because I want at least 16 of these. So this is why I was calling this or saying this, this was expensive. I mean, this is an expensive thing to do. There we go. We've got 16. All right, and now I will need lots and lots of experience. So, bottles of enchanting. Let's go ahead and use the super ones just because they give you a little bit more experience. There we go. And then I will take a few seconds here to experience myself up, and then I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, I've got 43 levels now. Now we're ready to go into our soul binder. What should have happened? Uh, well, what should have happened is that I didn't do it. So we're going to throw this into... We're not, because that means it will grind it up. So good thing you guys stopped me right now. So we've got one Enderman vial in there. We've got... Cause I, had, I thought I had 16 altogether. Did you guys see 16? Because I could have swore I saw 16 vials. But right now it's showing... One there. Like there was eight. I could have swore there was 16. I mean, they're not in in these machines, are they? I mean, why would they be? Did they throw them in here? That's what happened. Okay. So when it does the equal distribution, it just puts them all in there. That's... All right. Well, I'll have to figure out a way to fix that later, I guess. But uh, we'll get our stuff here. Okay, so this is going to take a bit. Um, I guess... Uh, Oh, this doesn't actually grind, does it? Let me check. Nope, it doesn't. So that's what I was doing too. You would just throw everything inside here and it'll keep it full. All right. So there we go. We are going to start making these and then the stuff gets taken out. Should. Should get taken out. It's not. What's the deal here? Do we need to set this as in out? Okay. Oh, it's on insert. All right. There we go. And then it should take the stuff out. Uh, you saw this light up because it made the crystal. So then now it should be over here. See, there it is right there. And it should put the vial right there. I wonder if it's going to... Oh, I know what it was. I think... No, because if I set the... Uh... Hmm... I think what I did before is I set the uh, priority here higher, but then that means that if I put the flasks inside here, they're just all going to get moved over to this side. Okay. That's going to take some more configuring too. Okay. Well, anyways, we're going to get some of this going here. And uh, just for demonstration, you don't, you don't actually have to see everything. So it's impossible to automate this practice, this process because you have to keep hitting this experience button. Unless you guys know a way to pipe stuff in, or at least in our mod pack, because I know that if you have um, like open blocks, you can get liquid XP. I don't know. There's got to be some way to do it. Maybe if I load a bunch of experience inside of an obelisk or experience obelisk, obelisk, um, you can pipe it out. That could be a possibility. It's something to look into so these things should be going inside here oh I'm almost done right yeah I've only got a couple left okay 
There we go. And there we are. And now we still have extra of those other things. So, vibrant crystals. So why do we have extra vibrant crystals? And there's 16 of those. Huh. I don't know. Something to look into. But, as you can see, we got this being made. We've got this being made. We've got this being made. And it all goes inside here and then pops into that up here. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about done. Now I've got one more thing to show you. I wonder where these... Oh, the, the one th more thing I'm about to show you. I've got these elevator blocks. Let me go ahead and show these to you. Let's throw it down. It doesn't have a GUI. If you right-click on it, nothing happens. Behind here, you've got an arrow. I'm not really sure what the arrow does. Uh, but the front, and this is the front, you want it to be facing the block that uh that you want it to like lift and lower these are i'm sorry did i say these are elevator blocks from rf tools and i'll show you how to use them the bottom one needs to be powered not the rest all right and we're going to do a simple one here so you need the front like i said facing the block um if i were to have grass blocks here it would actually lift this whole area uh, i'm sure it has a range but i messed up once and i lifted a a huge area of just regular stone when i had it the other way because i thought the arrow in the back would mean that uh, I needed to like have the arrow touching the block, but it's not. It's this face right here, so I don't know what the arrow in the back is for because I seem to be able to make it work by sending redstone signal in other places. So we are going to set this as strong. Let's get our wrench back. There we go, and then hit the top just like that, and then set that as strong too. I always do strong. I don't know if it's like... If it really needs to be, but I do. All right. And then since we're talking about our wrench, and hitting the block over here. There we go. Strong signal. One more right there. Also strong signal. And then let's connect this redstone here. Just like that. Okay. Now we need to send power down. I guess I did it more efficiently this time. So let's grab it from the back, and then I hate cables all over the place. All right, let's just do it like this. There we go. So now it should be powered. So now, redstone signal. You send redstone signal to the machine that you want, or to the floor that you want it to go to. Now, because this is a simple setup, um, I can use the same colors. If I had three floors, I would have to have, like, maybe two different buttons here, and, like, you know, red could be the top floor, and then... You'd hit the button and the red signal would go up and this one would be blue and the next one would be green. But So that's how it works right there. And uh, I know we have these other elevator blocks where you like you shift on them and you teleport. But I never really like those. I don't know why. And they're very handy and they look very easy to use. But I don't know. Just something about them. So let's take a look here. All right, and that's going up, and then here's going down. Dun, dun, I'm such a... Okay, and here we are. So the thing I want to try with the birch slabs, now that we're at this point, is that when we are at the top, I don't like the way that the cloud blocks look. But if I were to make... If I were to have birch blocks around this thing, uh, it would take down the whole floor, or at least a lot of it. So what I'm going to try... I just thought about before doing this if I can maybe it can tell a difference between slabs and blocks and I hope this works and not takes down the whole floor awesome awesome okay so let's take a look at this let's watch it go up so sweet awesome so now I don't have to have that dang white cloud block and then it matches you can't even tell I wish I can get a birch button instead of an oak button, but sweetness. Okay, then we have our clouds or our vapor stuff being made. I'm happy about this. This is my favorite part of the episode right now. Being made, I'm going to have to figure out the uh, priorities and everything so that I can still get the empty vials in here, but then when they come out, they get sent to there. And I'm not really sure unless I have like a separate that might have to be it. I might have to have a separate 
item conduit kind of go underneath and then push up into the the chest or even like maybe a chest underneath the machine I don't know can you open it if it's underneath the machine let's try let's do that right now and then we'll end up in the episode all right so if I put this here put that there nope doesn't open okay I'll figure something out and uh, then we'll use that anyway so cool cool right so that's how you get your uh, vapor of lev levity <laughs> set up let's see I don't think I like that because now there's a hole in the ground so I guess uh, as long as you're down here working whatever and I'll have to make this room look better too uh, this chest is for the wither killer spawner thing I just kind of dug into it and decided to stop right there maybe I'll put a wall back there I don't really need it <clears throat> but yeah so if you were wondering or like trying to shy away from that remote because now you have to have this tier 3 liquid then don't worry about it this is how you do it pretty easy and uh, yeah I'm, I'm glad I got to uh, set it up and I did throw a little bit of a fuss but it wasn't too bad so you guys have a great day I will see you next time and bye bye <laughs>